people want to see real solutions. They don't want to see band-aids and they don't want to see a failed status quo. 72% of the people who were surveyed want to stop building new roads, stop building new roads, and instead invest in transit, invest in bikes, invest in the infrastructure that allows mobility to be able to continue without having to jump in a car. And the MMA is a major step forward for that policy, and it gets to what the vast majority of most Illinois voters want. The MMA will unify CTA, PACE, Metra, and RTA into one better functioning, more efficient, and more effective transit agency that provides seamless apps, seamless schedules, and seamless fares. It's just common sense. Our transit agencies face a $730 million funding cliff. And legislators in Springfield have said very clearly that there will be no new revenue unless there is real reform. While states like Pennsylvania and Massachusetts fund 40 to 50% of transit, Illinois just funds 17%. And that's just one reason why the CTA and Metra are struggling to get uh, their service back up after the pandemic. The first step to increasing state funding is unifying these four transit agencies into one system. This is gonna save taxpayer dollars and it's gonna deliver better service. The companion appropriation bill to the MMA calls for $1.5 billion in annual funding. That will not only solve the transit funding cliff in 2026, but it will vastly improve frequency, reliability, interconnectedness, and safety on the public transit system in Northeastern Illinois. Our voters, our riders, our businesses, and our economic future demand a far better transit system than what the status quo offers.